MG, another case of the pressures of professional sport. Um, were you surprised by the revelations of yesterday? Oh, big time. Look, when we finished um, on radio yesterday, I, 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 the last thing I expected to hear was that Matty Moylan um, was given indefinite leave. I thought we were going to hear that Matty Moylan was right for Saturday's game against Manly. I honestly did. Um, but the opposite has happened. Um, I think if Matty uh, isn't committed in mind, body and soul, for whatever reason, boys, um, well, he needs to take time off. Um, you know, I... As a Panther fan, I'm disappointed our best player won't be uh, running out this Saturday night. But as a father and a dad uh, nearing 50, I empathise and just hope he gets himself right. Uh, MG, he's committed to the club 100%, Gus has said. Should Matt Moylan captain the Panthers in 2018? I don't think so. No, I don't think the captaincy sits well with Matty. I think that he needs to be a bit of a free soul on the footy field. And I think the the burden of being the captain has hindered him a bit. Um, a little bit like two of us a shake at the Warriors. I think players who have got natural ability um, need to be able to set set themselves free on a footy field. And I think at the moment, him having that extra burden as being the captain has has stifled his play. For people to know, there's a lot more to being a rugby league captain these days than the toss and the coin mm. and saying, hey, we'll take the kick for goal or kick for touch, we'll take the quick tap. It's about dealing with sponsors and all those things. And it appears, MG, just that yeah, that whole the whole picture of being captain is too much for Matty Moylan. Uh, Andrew Webster writes a great column this morning in the Herald, and I, I agree with it a hundred percent that he's a throwback from the seventies and eighties. He's one of them blokes who likes to play his footy, he likes to go off and have a can of beer, he likes to go to the club with his mates. Um, and I think these days the games change so much, you can't do that anymore. Someone maybe like a, a Regan Campbell Gillard or, or Isaiah Yo maybe maybe as captain next year for the Panthers. But mm. um, as far as Matty's ongoing uh, future with Penrith goes. I'm glad he's committed. Mm. I'm glad Penrith are giving him the space to get uh, himself right. Mm. We, Matty, we, we yeah. watch from afar. We we know that a lot of kids these days are delving or, or they're not delving, they're, they're hindered by things outside of the game. A lot of distractions. A lot of distractions. Look, you know, like social media. Heavily. Yeah, things weigh heavily on, you know, young athlete, <laughs> young people these days. Yeah. And, and look, there's been a lot of... Uh, Discussions that he and the the coach have been loggerheads. Whether that's true or not, all that adds to the pressure of the situation, the hamstring injury, the expectations he puts upon himself. He's a representative player. He probably expected himself to have a better season. Let's just say that him and the coach don't get on. Mm. So what? Yeah, it's right. That happens, not the first time. That's not the first. It won't be the last. Yeah. You got to work it so, out, boys. You got to work it out for the betterment of the club. And you know why? Because the fans are the ones ultimately at the end who. Uh, who hurt, who hurt the most? Well, that's what I want to ask. The Penrith fans that are going to Allianz Stadium on on uh, Saturday night, they're less likely to win now, right, without Matty Moylan. Mm. So can can the Panthers now have a bit of a run and win this, Matty? I, I get a feeling. Without him. I get a just just on the. I don't, I don't think I don't think Matty Moylan would have been playing this week. This hamstring injury seems <laughs> to be one that sort of there's been restricting. He's been one week in, two weeks out. You know, for the back half of this year. Mm. Um, can they win it? Look, Gus, what's really cost the Panthers is their slow start to the year. The slow start to, to the year has forced them to be up every week for the last two, two months. months. They've won yeah. seven or eight in a row. They've been excellent. You know, they've, they've been really, really good. They've dug deep. But for me, they're a young side. And being up for that long and winning that many games in a row, suddenly, for me, they've hit the wall. I think they're, I think they're vulnerable to Manly this week. And I think Manly will knock them out. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm obviously... Thinking, yeah. thinking the other well, way. Well, your heart, of well, course, Well, is well last week, I think if we were playing... I'd, I'd be more worried if we were playing the Sharks. But the fact that Manly towed us up over at Brookvale Oval um, makes me think that once bitten, twice shy, uh, that they'll go back to the drawing board and say, OK, let's see what they did to us. It's on neutral ground, which won't be really a home ground for Manly no. with 15,000 people at Allianz. Mm. If, if Phil Gould does lift the burden on Matty Moylan of being captain as we touched on a second ago there's no doubt going forward into the future in two, three, four years time that the long term captain is going to be Nathan Cleary yep. but you certainly don't put it on his shoulders next year you, you might be doing to Cleary what you've just done to Moylan couldn't agree more yeah. couldn't agree more and that's why I'm saying someone like a Campbell Gillard or a Isaiah Yeo who are both established first graders will be there for the long haul I think you've got to give it to one of them and just say to Matty Moylan play your footy son The Grill Team Gus, MG and Matty Johns